Problem number 25 of section 2.10 asks us to show that there is no point on a hyperbola uh, defined by the equation x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1, uh, where there's no point on this hyperbola uh, whose line tangent to that point does, uh, passes through the origin. In other words, the, tangent, the line tangent to the graph of this hyperbola uh, will always uh, it will never go through the origin no matter which point on the hyperbola that we pick. So our first step is just going to be write the equation for the tangent line of an arbitrary point. Now let's just we're going to assume that the point x0, y0 uh, is on our hyperbola. And now we're going to calculate the uh, equation for the tangent for the line tangent to the graph at the point x naught y naught. So recall that the equation for the tangent line is y equals y naught plus dy dx evaluated at x naught y naught times x minus x naught. Now, the first step here is to, or the remaining step is to calculate dy dx and evaluate it at the point x0, y0. Now, we have an implicitly defined function, so we're going to use implicit differentiation to calculate that. So, we take the derivative of each, uh, each side with respect to x, and that gives us 2x over a squared minus 2y over b squared. Now, we're assuming that y implicitly defines a function of x, so we need to use the chain rule and multiply by dy dx. And the derivative of any constant is just 0. Now, uh, let's move the terms that don't have dy dx to the right hand side. So we have minus 2y over b squared dy dx is equal to minus 2x over a squared. Now we can do a little bit of cancellation here. We have a minus 2 on both sides. So we can divide by minus 2. And that leaves us with uh, this equation here, which we can then use to solve for dy dx, which is equal to x times b squared over y times a squared. Now that we've found this, we want to evaluate this at the point x0, y0, point xy equals x0 y not. This will be x not b squared over y not a squared. Now we can go back and substitute this in for the equation of the tangent line for our slope. This is going, this is going to be plus x not b squared over y not a squared. All right, now the next step is to um, assume what we're actually trying to prove false. That is, we're going to suppose that this line actually does pass through the origin and then work until we reach a contradiction. Now, if this line actually does pass through the origin, then the point x, uh, x y equals 0, 0 um, is still val is valid to plug into this equation. So we can uh, substitute y equals 0. And this y naught plus x naught b squared for y naught a squared. Now we're going to substitute x equals 0. 
and then multiply by this quantity by minus x naught. Uh, so that will give us minus x naught squared b squared over y naught minus y naught times a squared. Now we can use this uh, then to solve for y naught in terms of x naught. Uh, in terms of x naught, a, and b. Uh, so if we move this to the uh, other, or if we move the y naught to the other side of the equal sign, we get minus x naught squared times b squared over y naught a squared. That will be equal to minus y naught. Now here the minus signs will cancel out. And if we multiply by y naught on both sides, get y naught squared on the right hand side, and just a squared in the denominator of the left hand side. So now we take the square root of both sides, and we get that y naught is equal to plus or minus uh, the square root of the left hand side, which is just x naught b over a. Now, recall that uh, we assume that our point x naught y naught was on the hyperbola, which means that it satisfies this identity here. So if we stick in x naught and y naught for x and y, the equation of the hyperbola should still hold. So let's put in x naught squared over a squared minus uh, y naught squared, now y naught is equal to plus or minus x naught b over a. So y naught squared is the same as x naught squared times b squared over a squared. And is equal to, or multiplied by 1 over b squared. Now, if the point uh, x, y, x naught, y naught was actually on the hyperbola, this quantity would be equal to 1. But we see that the b squareds cancel out, which, and then this leaves us with x naught over a squared minus x naught over a squared is equal to 0, which is not equal to 1. So there we've reached our contradiction. So we saw that we originally at the beginning of the problem, we found the equation for the tangent line of just a general point on the hyperbola. And we assumed that it actually does go through the origin. And then just by working under that assumption, we reached a contradiction of something that we assumed to be true earlier, namely that the point x naught y naught was on the hyperbola.